Embarrassing yourself before the Absolute with that muck on your mug. Say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. That's all. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Never wanted the easy path. Still poking around. Let's see what this does. Steal something, or all right, the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun, I promise. Follow the noise. Wargs have been going crazy for it. Just hope these scraps will satisfy the bunch when they're in this state. Always hungry, these boys. Hands off. This one's for the pups.
Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Day three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. Oh, 
You're also... Uh, yes, uh, of course. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. But... But I want to hear him squeal. One. That's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. Good. Now they die. Time for blood.
Tormenta! Forward. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. There's a chokehold of magic binding the creature to you. Any efforts to remove it would almost certainly kill you. Or worse.
that place is where the cultists send their captives. Innocents go in, true souls come out. It has to be the source of this magic. Precisely. If we can understand just what this magic is, then perhaps we can rid you of this parasite. It's immensely powerful, whatever it is. Strong enough to slow Ceramorphosis to a crawl. Luckily, that gives you more time. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Maybe I need more pockets. Let's have a look. within.
Excellent choice. Can't give up now. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. This is different. There's more fingers on a hand than there are survivors of that place. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, Dangerous souls. So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius. I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. The decision is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the Shadow-Cursed Lands. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. 
It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. But the Grove must come first, I'm afraid. remain here and do what I can to disrupt these cultists' plans. Perhaps I can stop their attack before it's even launched. Farewell. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Lords of hunters and a few pariahs to carry the powder kit. These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. Embarrassing yourself before the absolute with that muck on your mug. <laughs> <laughs> 